Well, this is Jay again. This is the boiling pot, Zambezi River. The falls are back that way. And if we pan over here, I just want to show you the bridge that goes between Zambia on the left and Zimbabwe on the right. And if you look in the distance, you can see the famous hotel. What's the name of that hotel? Victoria Falls Fell, Falls Hotel from the colonial days one of the vestiges of the colonial era. Now we're at the boiling pot here. All the water then comes down through here and heads on down this way. And so what we're doing here is we're looking at not only at this part here, but we're going to do a comparison. And one of the things we want to compare now are Muhammad and Jesus Christ. We've done this already in the video that we did precedes this, but what we want to do is look at some direct comparisons. And I've got my paper here. Uh, which where I'm just going to look at the different comparisons between Jesus and Muhammad on both sides. On this side over here, we saw earlier that Jesus was born of a virgin in Matthew 1, 18 to 25, also in Surah 19, verse 20. It says that, so in both books, you'll see that. On the other side, Muhammad was born normal, normally. We see that from Ibn Hisham, pages 68 to 69. Jesus on this side, he served God as a child in on Luke 2, verse 39 to 52, Surah 3, Ayah 46 also mentions that. So both scriptures talk about that uniqueness of Jesus as a child. In chapter 19 of the Surah, we also find that he speaks as a child and tells his mother how to eat from a palm tree. Fascinating story. We don't believe it. It's not in the Bible, but it's there in the Quran. Muhammad was an idolater before he was a prophet in Buhari chapter 6. Hadith number 452. So did not at all have that type of background as a child. We also see in the Bible that Jesus read from the Bible. Early on, Luke uh, chapter 16 to 21. I'm sorry, verse, uh, chapter 16 verse 20 and 21. Muhammad was literate according to 07, Ayah 157. Jesus was poor, dependent on donations. Luke 4, verse 16 to 21. And chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. Whereas Muhammad took booty from others. Excuse me, it is hot here, and I have to admit I'm going to have to wipe my brow as I go along. Standing in the sun, just for you all, so I could do this. Ibn Hisham talks about that in page 281. Jesus on this side performed miracles, Mark 3, Surah 3. Muhammad did no miracles. In fact, he did not uh, did not help the blind to see at all, and if anything, he saw the, made the seen eyes blind in Buhari, chapter 8. Hadith number 520 talks about that. Jesus on this side made the lame walk, Matthew 9, also in Surah 3, Ayah 49. Muhammad made the walking lame, al Buhari, volume 8, Hadith number 520. Healed withered hands, Jesus did in Matthew 12, verse 10 to 13. According to the Quran, Muhammad cut off the hand. Buhari talks about it in volume 8, the last three Hadith about the cutting off the hand of somebody and his crime was only stealing an egg. It's also in it's also in the Quran in chapter 5 verse 38. Jesus forgave the adulteress, John chapter 8 verse 7. Adulteresses were hit, whipped in stone in chapter 42, chapter 24 verse 2. The verse on Rajam. Jesus raised the dead, John 11 verse 1 to 45, Surah 4, Surah 3, Ayah 49. Whereas Muhammad killed the living, Ibn Hisham, page 308, Al Buhari, volume 5, hadith number 369. Jesus excused his opponents, Luke chapter 23, verse 34, and especially verse 43. Whereas Muhammad had his opponents killed in Al Buhari, volume 1, hadith number 241, volume 5, hadith number 248. Jesus sets the condemned free, Muhammad enslaved the free in Ibn Hisham page 466 Jesus was sinless John 8 verse 46 Surah 19 Ayah 19 that we had talked in the earlier episode whereas Muhammad was quite sinful Surah 47 Ayah 19 and especially Surah 48 verse 1 and 2 Jesus died for sinners John chapter 1 verse 29 chapter 10 verse 18 whereas Muhammad had sinners killed Surah 9 Ayah 5 chapter 47 verse 4 especially Al Buhari volume 1 Hadith number 241 in volume 5, Hadith number 248. And then most importantly, Jesus uniquely rose from the dead. Luke 
chapter 23 and chapter 24. Muhammad was died, buried in Medina and still there today. Never has raised, never was intimated. No Muslim believes that. Now, when you look at these comparisons, and we did quite a few comparisons here, can you see there is no comparison? When you look at Jesus on this side, Muhammad on this side, Muslims, I don't know why you're following this man. I don't know why you're following that prophet. You need to come on home. Come on home to this side, over here to Jesus. <laughs> in every category, Jesus is superior. Not Issa, Yeshua. Issa did not die on the cross. Yeshua did. Get the right Jesus. Though your Quran does talk about the miracles that Issa did, they're not the miracles that we see in the Bible. And that's why it's so important you do come back to the biblical Jesus. Come back to the Jesus who died and rose again. Come back to the Jesus that died on Friday, the day you celebrate, rose on Sunday, the day we celebrate, because of that resurrection. And by raising from the dead, he destroyed the sin that creates and keeps us all there. Only Jesus has done that for you, for me, for everyone's looking at this beautiful, beautiful scene here today. Gorgeous scene. There you can see the raft heading on down the Zambezi River. Yeah, it's just come down the rapids. There you can see a jump bungee jumper. Probably you saw them jump while I was talking. Very famous place for this kind of excitement. We're here to talk about Jesus and Muhammad, but obviously, when you look and see this beautiful creation, who do you think made it? The same Jesus made the same creation that you're looking at. You don't get it much better than this at the boiling pot here in Zambia at Victoria Falls. This is Jay, over and out.